It's been almost a month since Salt River Project started releasing water into the normally dry Salt and Verde Rivers. That tells you it has been unbelievable snow and rain in northern Arizona that prompted those releases as runoff started filling up Arizona's lakes and reservoirs and they need to make room for more. Today, SRP says we will likely see water in the Salt River into May. Linda Williams is live along the Salt with more. This is really something to see this. It is. Get used to this view. It's not a bad view. Some people like it. Others don't like the river running so fast. The Salt and Verde Rivers both running heavy and heavier because of releases by Salt River Project from lakes northeast of the valley, lakes like Roosevelt, which is the largest. Sky Fox flew the 80 miles northeast of Phoenix to Roosevelt Lake and Dam. SRP says rain and melting snow have made Roosevelt Lake the fullest it's ever been. As of 8 o'clock Monday morning, Salt River Project was releasing 1,300 cubic feet of water per second from Roosevelt Dam. What's a real-life comparison? Maybe this isn't perfect, but I like to think of maybe a basketball's somewhat around the size of a cubic foot. Um, you know, 1,300 of those come in every second full of water. All that water has created some interesting water features as it flows west through the valley. At Tempe Town Lake, the chocolate waterfall has become a cool attraction for residents and out-of-town visitors, like Al Nierbor from I'm Michigan. Impressed. I'm impressed, I, and I'm glad you finally got it. You guys have been under drought restrictions for so long that finally you're getting payback. A wet and welcome payback here in the desert. But as we splash through our celebrations, a quick reality check about the Phoenix Valley and its water supply from Salt River Project. SRP is the biggest single provider of water to the Phoenix metropolitan area, but a lot of the metropolitan area gets water from the Colorado River. And one wet winter is not going to save the challenges on, on uh, solve the challenges on Lake Mead. The Colorado River states that feed Lake Mead are not having the bounty of rain and snow Arizona is experiencing this year. Linda Williams, Fox 10 News.